Our digital and physical worlds are colliding and Bluetooth beacon technology is at the center of a change that's going to impact everybody's experience with mobile phones. It used to be that computers functioned inside boxes locked up in machine rooms. Now that digital power is exploding out into the real world through the Internet of Things, connected kiosks, billboards and wearables like glasses and watches. Bluetooth beacons trigger actions in smartphone apps when the phone comes into proximity with these tiny devices. These beacons are like confetti around us. They allow app developers to understand where people are with a precision that was impossible a few years ago. I'm Steve Statler, author of Beacon Technologies, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Beacon System. The book evolved from my experience working at Qualcomm where we incubated one of the first Beacon products. That offering is used in baseball stadiums, at the Super Bowl and Apple stores across the United States. After Qualcomm, I started my own consulting business training people on Beacon technology. There was a huge interest and a lot of misunderstandings about the technology. So we set about writing down everything that we were teaching to create what is a beacon ecosystem or ecosystem survival guide. There's more to it than many people might think. It goes beyond the beacons, the chipsets inside them, and standards like Bluetooth, Apple Eye Beacon, and Google's Eddystone. There is a technology stack that includes fleet management, orchestration, analytics, different kinds of networks, payment systems, geofencing, privacy, and the art of deployment. Part of making this a real survival guide is helping people to decide when to use Bluetooth beacons and when another technology is a better fit. So we look at when to use Wi-Fi location, visual light communication, machine vision, RFID, NFC, barcode, QR codes, cell networks, and ultra wideband. All these are tools in the toolbox. Most important is understanding the apps that are making a difference in a variety of verticals. So we give lots of examples and case studies. San Diego has become a real hub for beacon technology companies. And as a result, there are some really cool deployments at venues like SeaWorld, the Convention Center, the San Diego International Airport, and here where we are at the San Diego Museum of Art. Museums have to compete with many other forms of entertainment. So what we do is use the capabilities of visitors' phones as well as beacons to enhance their experience. Beacons allow visitors to find their way around the museum as well as have engaging content delivered to them based on their location. We invited other experts to contribute chapters and make the book really comprehensive. There are over a dozen contributing authors, consultants, CEOs like John from Rover Labs and other leaders of the companies that are driving this new market forward. We asked the leading privacy lawyer focused on this space to write our chapter on beacon privacy and a professor from UCLA Anderson School of Business explains programmatic advertising one of the major funding sources for these big deployments. If you're a technologist or a business person interested in what happens when the web and the physical world meet, we invite you to read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Beaker System. You can subscribe to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Beaker System podcast on iTunes or visit hhgb.us to see weekly interviews with the leaders that are shaping the future of the Beco system.